Hey guys, I'm here to make this video to say Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there who are really doing their job as a father. And to all the single mothers as myself who, you know, picking up both roles, being the father and mother because of a deadbeat parent. Okay, so I just wanted to make this public service announcement to whoever is listening to be there for your kids. And it's so easy to make an excuse. Oh, my baby mama, she nags, she whatever, she get on my nerves. Oh, my baby daddy, don't do this, don't do that. It's all about the kids. And a lot of times, it's so easy to make an excuse for not being there. Either saying that the other parent, it's hard to get along with or whatever, but you do what you got to do. When it comes to child support, pay your child support. When you can do anything else and put 30 inch rims on your car, or do this, do that, and, and do everything else you want to do, Pay your child support, because kids really know what's going on. They know if they have a parent who's not there in their lives. They know if they have a parent who don't even call or say hi, and even acknowledge them. Kids are smart and kids know, which it's it's a shame that two adults can't even have a cordial relationship for the kid's sake. You may not like him, he may not like you, or vice versa, but the key is the kids. You know what I'm saying? They didn't ask to come here. So at least you can do it. You got a baby mama who's nagging. Because that's, I think, the biggest thing that guys say. Oh, my baby, my baby mama, man, she nags so much, man. I hate talking to her, man. She get on my nerves, man. Understood. If you got to walk to the door with your eyes closed and your fingers in your ear so you can't hear or see her, do that. If you got to walk up there, okay, I'm here for my son. Give me my son. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you got to do that, do it. Because that time is valuable, especially if you have... I would say, being that I'm the mother of a son, I feel like he needs that father figure there. I do the best I can, but there's certain things only a man could instill in him, you know? So it's very important that the parents have, like if you on drugs and strung out and all this stuff, you know it's best that that child is not with you. But if you got all your sins and you, you, know, what, you know what you got to do. You know, it shouldn't take a court to tell you, okay, you visit your child from this time to that time, or you got to pay this much in child support. It shouldn't take that. You know, kids need food and clothes and air and lights and everything else, you know? Heat and air. So it's like, don't, um, do, do what you can. Because even if one person listens to this and make a change for the better for their kids' sake, it's worth it. Because it's, it's really senseless, especially when people have a child not taking care of that child they're gonna get another one I don't understand that you're not taking care of the last one you had so why go and do it do it all over again so just um you know be be there these kids need us and you know it, it's um it's really it's really unfair to them when the parents can't even come up, come together long enough to see that the child has what he needs or what she needs. And that's another reason why I don't even have, like, my son, like, if he's ever, like, run across the camera view or something, I block it out with, you know, I kind of edit it to where you can't, all you can see is, like, his arms or the top of his head or his back or something because his dad isn't in the picture. And the last thing I want is for him or whoever to come across this and see him. Oh, that's what he looks like. You would never know what he looks like because you are not playing the role of a father, so I'm not going to treat you like a father. You will have no idea what he looks like ever. You know what I'm saying? The simple things that you're required to do and asked to do, you're not doing that. So it, there's no way you will ever see him. And I mean that. So um, I'm not, you play hard. I play according to how you play. If you want to play hardball, oh, that's perfectly fine with me. We can be the best of friends or the worst of enemies. It's all about him. If you do right by him, I'll love you to death. Can you turn that down? I'll plug that in. If you do right by him, oh, me and you, we can be the best of friends. But if not, I'm done. You know, it's all about him. And a lot of people, if they can't be with you in a relationship, they don't want to do nothing with the kid. And that's crazy because whether we're together or not, that's still your child. So why should our relationship status have anything to do with how the child is getting taken care of? So that's all I wanted to say. You know, happy Father's Day only to those who, if your kids don't know what you look like, I'm not talking to you. If your kids don't even know you exist, I'm not talking to you. But if you are really there, especially the stepfathers, because there's a lot of men 
who go into relationships and marriages where there are kids from previous relationships, I give y'all a pat on the back. Because when you got the biological father or biological parent not doing for that child and you do for them, that's like amazing, you know, because you don't have to do it. So big, big shout out to y'all. And all the mothers, single mothers, like I said, um, we holding it down. We have no choice, you know. So anyway, that's all I wanted to say. And y'all enjoy the rest of y'all Sunday as well as the rest of the week. Y'all have a good one.